Let's see if this actually works. Yes. Yes! Today I'm gonna build a Lego mechanical press and then smash things with it. But since the last one we built was just a little bit weak, I'm gonna use metal gears and axles from a company called Metal Technic Parts. We're gonna crush it with this one, so. The first thing we gotta do is lay out some plates. Okay, I have honestly no idea how big we're gonna make this, but I want it to be big enough so we can crush larger things. Yeah, I mean, that's big enough. So if we build up the bottom of this press with gray bricks, Okay, first layer down, and it is pretty weak already. So now we just gotta build up this wall and integrate technique pieces, and then we can work on the arms that are gonna come up and hold the press in place. We're gonna use Technic bricks for this so we can lock in the rest of the pieces later. I also wanna have a very strong section right here that's locked into these. For that, I was honestly just thinking we just take a bunch of these plates. I'm really gonna regret doing this, but it'll probably work. Just like that. Okay, so now we have this very heavy block. A super important factor to keep in mind, is if you have four bricks in between one of these pieces, you can actually connect two of them together. You can now take Technic pins and lock these together, and then this becomes super strong, and you're not able to pull it apart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build towers out of that, now we just gotta build Technic braces that go across this way, and link it into this with four bricks between it. So let's do that. So the next step would be building the two pillars, but I also need to know what's gonna go between them. So we need to open up our metal gears. This portion of the video is sponsored by Metal Technic Parts. They actually sent me over a bunch of Metal Technic pieces to use in this project. Metal Technic Parts is a shop that sells high quality Metal Technic style parts that are compatible with the plastic Lego Technic pieces. Most of the parts they make are CNC'd from high grade billet aluminum. So they're light, but actually strong and durable. So we got a bunch of metal gears. We have some low profile connectors. We got a bearing block, cutting bearings. And then we got a bunch of metal axles because and these are just absolutely fantastic. And then they sent over these metal Technic beams that you actually cut down to size. So you might be able to use these to like put on the outside of the frame to certify everything. This is actually so cool. These are gonna work super well. Big thanks to Metal Technic Parts for sending these over. If you guys wanna check out their store, you can click the first link down in the description. Check out what they have. But first, I'm just curious, how loud are they? <laughs> Good. They're tough to put on because they're made of metal, which I'm glad because otherwise, I don't know how well this thing would do. It's not as loud as I thought it'd be. That's not a good idea. Dude, this is gonna be so strong. I'm psyched. I guess we work on the mechanism now. All right, so for this mechanism, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna use a mega battery because it has four connection ports and it is very, very strong. Then we're going to need a remote control, an IR receiver, and then we need motors. Let's go over to our new wall of drawers that we're still filling up. We have a lot of motors. We're gonna use four motors for this. It should give us enough power, I think. So for each one of these, we're gonna hook it up to a singular battery box, and then we're gonna hook this up to the blue channel, and then when we turn this on, push the blue, and it turns on. We want these all to go at the same time, so now we can hook up the rest of these. Now these should spin. And they're getting a lot of power, so that's perfect. We need to make a gear ratio that is big gear to small gear. For one rotation of the big gear, we'll get a lot of rotation for the small gear. So we actually need to do small gear to large gear. Let me show you. So this will be our drive gear. It'll be connected to the motor. So we'll put that through there. And then we need a larger gear, like this right here. Go across like that. Now we connect our second brick, something like this. And check this out, it's gonna get slower and slower. So now as you can see, if we spin this one, this gear here is spinning a lot slower than this one because we connected it to a big gear spinning this one down here a lot, and the one at the end is spinning super slow. And this one is going to be connected to the gear axe, and these are gonna be connected to the crusher, so this will spin super duper slow. Let's just build a couple more of these so we can hook them together, and then we'll see if it works. So now that we got four of these built up, you need to connect two of them together for each side. We want these motors to be connected so they're both going the same direction. Some of these are a little looser than the other ones because I've pushed them through the axles. You see right there, there's two pin holes around the axle hole. So you just take the little push pin and you put it in there and you just kind of wiggle it around. Maybe a little thin. I just broke eye protection. Yeah, this is, this is gonna work super well. These will now go on each side and push the thing down. So, I think we can connect these really simply actually by just going like this. <laughs> This slides right into here, and as you can see, it's pretty flimsy, but we'll fix that. Because if we don't, this isn't gonna work. Okay, so I'm locking these arms together, as you can see, using four brick layers, which is exactly what you're supposed to use in between these. And then we'll lock these together across here, but I need to get another one of these long bricks to lock together these three layers and really pinch in these gears. 
Here it is. Nice. Look at how much more sturdy both those towers are now. Okay, so for the ram, or what's going to crush the actual items, we have these. So we can put two sides of a ram that's gonna go right in between here. So we need one less. So cool, now that we've got the dimensions for this, let's just build it up, and then on the bottom of it, we'll put like a round ram thing. Okay, now we can connect these like this. And this should fit perfectly inside of the space. Boom, now we have our crusher. Put this thing in here. Oh right, there's supposed to be two plates on each side. There we go, dude, let's go. Push both these and see what happens. Then we just gotta tie these together so that it pinches it basically in between. But for that, we can use the metal Technic pieces that they sent. And we'll cut those down to size to just basically fit across this whole thing. It need to be this long. So now we need to cut these. And it comes with instructions on how to cut them and sand them. However, I don't have a small saw, so I'm gonna use bolt cutters. And now we just have to sand the ends to be rounded like this. So you basically take these things, these are cutting bearings. Now you just sand it down to that and it'll be perfectly round like the other side. Safety first. Check it out. It's rounded now. Put the soda can right here. Okay, that's perfect. I gotta say, it's already like eight times stronger than the last one. Dude, that actually works. Okay, so now all we gotta do is make it look better and then we can actually crush stuff. Okay, so I just got the battery boxes installed. As you can see, they are all in a line and they're all attached to these, which are the IR receivers. We do have some power functions lights. So we might be able to put those like that, and then we have lights. So if we put this in here, now we can see it a little better. But it's coming along, we're almost done. All right, guys, this is it. We just completed it, and we're gonna crush some stuff. But before we do that, I just wanna ask, we're buddies, you and I. I just want you to know that. Please subscribe. Now that's over, we're gonna crush some stuff. So let's turn this thing on. You can see here, two of these battery boxes are actually connected to lights on either side, and now we can light up what we're crushing. Also, if you look right in there, we have a camera, a GoPro, and that is accessible through this little panel right here. All we gotta do is flip it up, we can record. We're gonna start with this Lamborghini, as you can see. But here we go. Okay, so we didn't do anything to Lamborghini, but that's okay. Lamborghini, zero out of 10. <laughs> Next up, we have Ublot. You guys remember Ublot from the crash test video. Just sit down right there. So Ublot died. <laughs> Ublot's arm broke off, so eh, I'll give you like a four out of 10. This is like a squishy toy, as you guys know. I love squishy toys. I'm just kidding, I just made that up. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna squish it and see what happens. Middle thing versus squishy toy. Squishy toy died. Next up, we're gonna crush an apple. It's three, two, one. This is a really hard apple. If we could just make like an angular thing so that we could actually split things, that would work better. We'll do it again. Okay, so the apple didn't work. So next up, we're gonna make a s'mores and crush that with Feastables. And then we'll replace this. Now there's our s'more. It's uncooked, which isn't weird at all. Don't think about that. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a juicy s'more. Bring it up, all smushed together. And here is our s'more. Oh, very good. We have Spider-Man here, and we're gonna see what he does. Uh, he, he came out fine, so. <laughs> Next up, let's crush some ramen. Now this one's gonna be super satisfying. That was extremely satisfying. <laughs> Goodbye ramen. You can see here the gear's working and they're actually working super well. Goodbye, Mr. Strawberry. Oh my gosh. That's how you get a single flat strawberry. <laughs> I'll give the strawberry a 10 out of 10. That was really satisfying. Next up, some Oreo Cakesters. Check this out. It smells pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Goodbye. Uh. All right, next up, just because I'm curious, a snack pack. <laughs> Good 
buy snack pack. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. I mean, that was pretty satisfying though. We're gonna do four double stuff Oreos and see what happens. Please stop. We broke it. These back pieces came off that are holding the gear in place because it pushed it one direction. Hey, that was pretty satisfying though. Let's go seven out of 10. This thing's working pretty well on the food. The rest of the stuff isn't, you know, amazing. On the food items or things that are actually able to break, it's working really well, a lot better than the last time. Next up, we got some gummy bears. Let's see if we can make a giant gum. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, one out of 10. Up next, Pringles. Candle Compress versus Pringles. <laughs> that was really satisfying and it made them all flat. So, you know, five out of 10, it did kind of work. Now let's do speed round. Frosted cake donuts. Oh. 10 out of 10, we're gonna do a tomato next. Eh, three out of 10. Apricot, there's a pit in here. Ooh, that was satisfying. Now this I can eat. I'd say overall, I'd rate this build a five out of 10. Like it works really well with the metal gears, but it just doesn't have as much power as I would have liked. You're still kind of limited with plastic, especially with the Lego motors on here. But I think this one turned out a lot better. And also the metal gears and axles and the lift arms work fantastic. Everything's still in place. They're still holding. Nothing's broken that I can see. Huge shout out to Metal Technic Parts for sending those over. Check out their store. First link down in the description and check out one of these two videos because I think you'll enjoy them. See ya.